From the land where college football is king, we are in Troy, Alabama, where they're going to get a lot tonight that they don't usually get. A Big 12 opponent, a nationally ranked team, a nationally televised game. It's a big test because of one big name player. Tonight, a chance to see a multi-talented quarterback. Missouri's Brad Smith, a very quiet, polite young man who left a loud impression on the college football scene last season. Smith headed for a record-setting day of his own. The 20, the 10, he scores! Touchdown, Tigers! At the 50, watch out, it's a race! Brad Smith, he's gone again! Oh, my! What a weapon this guy is. Now his name is being mentioned with that trophy. And in 2004, the defender and the contenders for the Heisman are trying to stake their claim to the game's ultimate individual honor. Because Brad Smith, along with this crew, see with your own eyes and see a pretty good player. Trying to lead a Tiger team higher in the rankings tonight. We're about 50 miles southeast of Birmingham, Alabama for college football. Tonight on ESPN2 in Troy, Alabama, where they say they've never had as big a game as this. First time a ranked team has come in here. This is Movie Gallery Stadium, and number 17, Missouri, is the ranked foe. And with that, we start the college football weekend with you, Mike Tirico, Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreet, Jill Arrington joins us on the sideline in a little bit. They feel they expect to win this game. They're not in all Missouri in the Big 12. First down from the 20, Smith will put it in the air right away and complete it. Pass to the method. Officially a gain of 12. First handoff hitting the creases. Damian Nash. Another first down out to the 40. Help them out. Second and nine. Galloping through the hole is Marcus Woods. And he's very close to a first down. They now run two tight ends. And Smith will put it in the air to one of those tight ends. Pass is complete. Stin goal on a 10 play march down the field for Missouri. And it's Damian Nash taking it to the end zone for Mississippi State. And here he is. And here he goes. First pass up top, trying to get James Earl Cray. Instead, gets Shardonia Mitchell. On the interception, here comes Mitchell. And he's pushed down at the 41 yard line. Second and 10. Pressure that time as he throws. I think of about seven yards with Sean Coffey. Season game for the opener against Arkansas State a good start here as on the sideline you get it from a Marshall team that's rebuilding its offensive line and allowed eight sacks on second down here's Smith here's Sean Coffey to the 10 and we'll have third. not a good idea third and three Vic Coning the defensive coordinator watches as Smith throws for a touchdown to Victor Cisse. Nothing Missouri on top. Glad you're with us here on College Football Primetime. Marcus Woods is the running back. And he is stopped by that aggressive defensive line. Lost HD. If you're cable operator, direct TV, or dish network, call him today for more info. Your love here in Troy. Smith pressure. Smith. Set. Brought down. That's Demarcus Ware. That's the best player on this Troy team. Reggie Whitewood and showed his great strength at 245. They need to get to the 39, a throwback to Cisse, the tight end, who is tripped up. Smith's pass to Omboga, and a nice... Oh, all things like this to happen, and they don't complete this and convert, I'm sure he'll take advantage of that on the sideline. Smith needs to get to the 46. Only get people realize Missouri's going to be a player here in the Big 12. Smith hit as he threw and incomplete. That's three consecutive good defensive stands for Troy. Nice job. Matt Eberflus, their coordinator, has his unit working well thus far. And there it is! There it is! We can all go home with the first down. Right. You thrived in a lot of those situations. Oh, did you I knew ever. You, the other guys across the field have more talent. Absolutely. Leak. Nice throw. Right up. there. Across midfield. First down out. Try football one more time. A more seasoned receiver might have done what we saw. Third and four. Leak hanging in there as long as he could. Good. Dump down. First down. DeWitt Benerson is running. First time ever. Missouri here in town and leading 14-0. The Tigers have dominated the game until this drive. Could be a double pass here. Jason Samples loads up. Did he hit it? Yes! Touchdown! Jermaine Richardson!
a well designed football play. Couple of back to back three and outs. Change here with a Brad Smith run. Taking down at the 41 yard line. Ball out after Dave Brown, who puts together our college football schedule. Just a couple of yards there. Dave, it was in a neutral site in St. Louis. He made a huge splash. Got to handle the Brits here on the run. Up in the air, and he threw it away just to get rid of it. And Rob Austin. Austin in motion and blocking for Betterson. A little more of a power look out of that two tight ends. From the 27 yard line, Betterson again breaks into the secondary. Look at this! There's wow. another offensive lineman taking it all the way. Look at Junior Lusant, he scores! <laughs> Date myself here, but is this everybody's All American with John Goodman getting it from Dennis Quaid? Watch this ball just bounce right to him. Once he gets it, Lucent, look at him run. I mean, these are linebackers. That's a that's a corner. AJ Kincaid trying to run him down, and he finally gets him at the five yard line. That's John Goodman from Everybody's All American. Well, you know why? My friend Junior is from the Speed State. He's from Miami, Florida. Yeah, can, All oh. those guys in Miami, even six foot one. 276 pound junior from Miami, the speed states. How many times I, did, I tell you? I know, I know it's a speed run. state, but Look he's out that. running a 5'10, 190 pound corner. Look at him. Look AJ up. Kincaid finally caught him and then he dragged him the final five yards. What an athlete. This was no chance in the first quarter. And now it's 14 14. Smith. In trouble, put it up for grabs. Incomplete. The reason why? Pass protection is breaking down and they're putting the pressure on him. Design run Smith. Nowhere. There Marcus Ware right there. Trying for a 4 3 and out is the Troy defense. Smith rolls and throws. Incomplete. Four consecutive three and outs. Good stuff, guys. Atia Ellison. <laughs> Good job. In the belly of Richardson. And Jermaine takes it for a first down. Some of the adjustments they've made. Out of the gun comes Aaron Elite, former North Carolina quarterback. He's out of Durham. Richardson spins. Jill, they'll go for the lead with this field goal attempt. From 43 yards, Greg Wicks gives Troy a 17. 14 lead. Second and seven. Nash on the swing. Could not pick up the second block. Laverne Johnson carried a lot of it, and then Bernard Davis was there for cleanup work. The play clock has not started for some reason, so this half will wind down. A shocking turn of events. At the half, Troy shocking Missouri. 17 14. First Trevin Mark. Troy, after calling a timeout, starts this first drive of the half to 23 with Betterson battering ramp nine. Gary Pinkle said to Jill, you have to run the ball better in the second half. Not there. I think that's what Gary Pinkle's talking about, being able to get back to establishing that. Swift throw, beautiful, in the window to Brad Ekwerekwu. Coming out in front of him to take care of that linebacker, Scraven. First down, picked up from the 35. Nash put it on the carpet! Detroit had it, the whistle blew, and they were given the ball and came free again. But it is Troy football on the fumble. To the screen is a speedster in Andy Britt. Leak comes the other way into a lot of coverage and intercepted. Down the need to get to the 25. Brad Smith, a great runner, put a terrific move on and spins for the first down. From the 27 in the belly of Woods, fumble again. Missouri got on this one. This place will come alive here. Third and eight. They've shown this puts a lot on third down. Um, Boga still going. Thompson. Eighth straight possession that Missouri has not scored. Pressure. Got it. Rock 
Harvey's punt is blocked by Bernard Davis, the starting linebacker. Aaron Lee brought down. This win is very, very important to Troy. Damian Nash up the middle across the 30 into the 30. Four nations. Wow. It's a big alumni base. Here's Brad Smith. Couldn't get to the block, and they get to him. To Columbia, they're going to make another one here down the road. Aaron Leak, the quarterback, is sacked. Triple option's his Triple favorite option. play. Yeah, it's his favorite play. <laughs> Second and 17 for Aaron Leak. They protect him this time. Uh -oh. But he threw an interception. He would make it efficient. He could work the Tebow by himself. Second down, they run, and the run has been stuffed. Brad Smith is a Heisman candidate. It's time for Brad Smith to make a play. From the 23 on third down. Into coverage, intercepted! Three plays prior. Long field for Troy to deal with. Good first down run for DeWitt Betterson. I see my friend. Might be time for a shot down the field here. Second and six. No, they'll keep running. Why not? Keep going. It's time to Jermaine Richardson out. There's never been a bigger fourth quarter coming up for Troy. Give me four fingers, everyone. Everybody does it. Up. Everybody owns a Division 1A, does it? Why can't they? <laughs> They've earned the right in the first three quarters. Troy by three. Back. Oh. Very good kick. Oh! I mean, perfect. <laughs> oh my God. 61 yards. <laughs> Look at the head coach. <laughs> He's all fired up. Nash again. Stopped again. The ball came out. It did come out. Nash was going back for it. It looked like the umpire was saying that the ball is down. And in fact, he is. It came out. They say third down. say that the whistle had blown because he was hit and they had no chance. This would be a very deflating loss for them. Aaron Leak play action. Trying to make something happen deep downfield for Jason Samples. Touchdown. hits its touchdown is because the Missouri defensive end goes to the inside. It gives him just enough time to go to the outside and throw the ball, Kirk. What a big hit he took there, showing his toughness. He did get to the outside. That's Good it. job focusing downfield. They got to get this kid Smith and let him just run around all over the place. First and 15, Smith dumps underneath. Beautiful move to shake free by the tight end, Rucker. Martin Rucker took it out to the 30. Fulfill even the goalpost. Smith throws to Omboga. Thompson Omboga on the run. Pretty soon, if they score. Incomplete for Cisse. Still out. And Brandon Contra in 28 is still in for Troy. Smith is sacked! Handles the snap. Steps up. Smith's throw is incomplete. This in Fayetteville. There are your headlines. Clear out your day. Saturday on ESPN. DeWitt Betterson pounding forward. Had punt issues at Marshall last week. They've been very clean tonight. No, they're not going to stop another one. Oh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Listen, listen. From just shy of the 20, Brad Smith underneath. Good tight end, Victor Cisse. Complete and out of bounds goes Braddock. Where? 
back in there. Brandon Conjure did a nice job in his absence. Deflected and intercepted. They pulled it down. Arthur Adams. It's the first quarter. Brad Smith intercepted and dropped. Head coach a couple of years ago. He knows the pressures of being a head coach. What they do best. Smith on the run. Into the secondary. He's going to get the first down to stop the clock. Might see it close out here on fourth and four. The 46th pass of the night for Smith. Incomplete. And Troy will take over again. <laughs> Inspirational. These kids love to play for him. Up the middle goes better since South Florida. There it was. Second and six. Betterson bouncing first down. You know one other thing that just come to my mind? How many more BCS teams do you think are coming back to Troy? Hard to get them here. I wouldn't come. No, it's part of a two for one. Two games in Columbia, one game here. Missouri still has a timeout. Uh, they will not lose it. And this date, September 9, 2004, will be remembered as the biggest football day in Troy, Alabama. Troy has shot number 17, Missouri, with 24 unanswered points. And they win going away 24 to 14. The goalposts disappear into the swarm of Trojan fans. Yes, they've won national championships here before. But no game like this. Jill is with Larry Blakeney. Jill? Coach Blakeney, what a coming out party. Where did you get those flashy plays to score with? Hey, uh, I tell you what, uh, that, I don't know where they came from. We had a good plan. Kids uh, adopted it. They scared us early. We kept playing. Finally got in rhythm with them. Then we got Mo on our side, and they'll be talking about this team for 50 years. Hey, Coach, you've been through a lot to get this team here. What does this win say about Troy University? Well, I think it says that at least in this 60 minutes of history that we were better than Missouri for sure, and uh, we might be better than some other folks. I got the hardest job in America coming up in the next 10 days, getting ready for New Mexico State, our, our Sun Belt Conference opener. All right, Coach, congratulations. Great win for your team, Mike. Yeah, Joe, they've never been in a conference uh, here in Division 1A. They had plays an independent play everywhere and everyone when those guys wanted to. But it's a night Troy, Alabama will never forget. They've won NAIA championships, Division 2 championships. This is against the big guys. Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreit, Jill Arrington, Mike Tirico. Thanks for watching this presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com. See you on ESPN News with the postgame extra in a couple of minutes. Now the WNBA, Detroit and L.A.